Ping is the latency between you and the Fortnite server. Ping is measured in milliseconds or MS, which is a thousandth of a second. So a ping of 100 milliseconds is a delay of 0.1 seconds. Why is it important to lower your ping? Because the lower your ping is, the less time it will take for your game to respond to the server and the less latency you'll experience. So your builds will play sooner, your edits will be smoother, and shooting targets will feel more responsive. Having low ping is a competitive advantage, and it's actually unfair how good zero ping is. Hi, I'm Cram, and in this video, I'm going to show you how you can lower your ping in Fortnite. And as you watch this video and follow along with every step, you will be able to dramatically reduce your ping. But before we get started, make sure you subscribe to the channel, so when I release a new video, you get notified. First, let's actually set things up so you can see your ping in Fortnite if you haven't already. This is quick and easy to do and will allow you to measure your ping and set a benchmark before you follow all the steps in the video. To show your ping in Fortnite, just do this. First, open your Fortnite menu by pressing the escape key on your keyboard or the start button on your controller. From the drop down list, select settings. Click on the game UI icon, which is the third one across and it looks like a box with a triangle and some lines. And from the list of options, turn Net Debug Stats on. Then your ping will be shown in the top left of your screen when you play Fortnite, next to where your player name is. You'll also be able to see other useful network stats such as your download speed, upload speed, and packet loss, so you can track how your connection is doing while you play. Now that you understand what ping is and why it's important to reduce it and how to show your ping in Fortnite, let's begin with the first tip for lowering your ping and that's to use a wired connection. This is the most obvious tip for getting better ping, but I'd really need to mention it. You see, using a wired connection is more stable and reliable than a wireless connection. Because you'll be experiencing a slower connection due to interference on a wireless connection, your ping will almost always be better on a wired connection. For example, here are the results of a speed test that I ran on my phone using a wireless connection. And here are the results that I ran on my computer that's connected to my router via an ethernet cable. Now, my mobile results with a wireless connection are very good, and I have no idea why the upload speed is actually faster on the wireless test, but I'm literally sitting right next to the router, and if I was further away, then the results would be worse. And just by using a wired connection, I was able to reduce my ping from 23 milliseconds to 13 milliseconds, which is more than a 40% reduction. Look. Ethernet cables are cheap and easy to use. You just plug one end into your router and the other end into your PC or console. Of course, using an ethernet cable is typically not a problem for PC players, but it can be for console players that are set up further away from the router. When I was living at home, I had the same problem. I was really far away from the router, but I really wanted to use a wired connection because I knew how much it would improve my gaming experience. The solution? I bought a super long 50 foot ethernet cable. And if you're worried that a 50 foot ethernet cable running through your home could look ugly, then you can use some command cord clips to help with your cable management. But if you live at home and you can't convince your parents to let you run a super long ethernet cable, then don't worry, because here's another solution to your problem of high ping. It's to use a power line adapter if you can't use a wired connection. Powerline adapters are devices that send data signals via your home's electrical wiring. They're simple to use and all you need is a power outlet near to you. In general, powerline adapters are fast enough for high speed internet and they're more consistent and offer less latency than a wired connection. But if the wiring in your house is old or not the best, then your internet speed and ping could suffer. So make sure you get your powerline adapter from somewhere with a good return policy in case it doesn't work out for you. You can buy a power line adapter from Amazon, for example, that comes with two ethernet cables. Connect one ethernet cable into your adapter and router and the other into your console. And that's it. You can now connect to the internet via the wires in your home and hopefully you experience lower ping. But if you're stuck using a wireless connection because you can't use a wired connection or a power line adapter for whatever reason, then simply getting closer to your router can help to reduce your ping. Because when you move closer to your router, you reduce the distance the signals has to travel so you experience a stronger connection. Also, you want to make sure that you have nothing blocking the wireless signal between you and your router because other appliances can hurt the strength of your connection. 
Now that we've covered the importance of using a wired connection, it's time to talk about how to optimize your network adapter settings for improving your ping. Here we're going to be tweaking your network adapter settings for the best performance when you play Fortnite. You will need to be connected to the internet via an ethernet cable for this to work. First, you want to navigate to the network and sharing center of your Windows desktop. You can get there via control panel by clicking on the network and internet category and then clicking on network and sharing center. And if you're in icon view, then you can just click on network and sharing center. Once you get to the network and sharing center, you'll see your active network. Where it says connections, you want to click the blue ethernet text. This will bring up your ethernet status and then you want to click properties and then click configure. Now go across to the advanced tab and you'll see a bunch of different properties that are available for your network adapter. The properties depend on the type of network adapter you're using and on the screen you'll see all the possible settings that you should use to optimize your network adapter for Fortnite. You want to disable ARP offload, disable ECMA, disable energy efficient ethernet, disable flow control, disable interrupt moderation, IPv4 checksum offload you can disable, you can disable jumbo frame. Then for the maximum number of RSS queues, this depends on the number of cores that your CPU has. You can check this by going to task manager and selecting the performance tab. You wanna select four RSS queues if your CPU has four or more cores, and select two RSS queues if your CPU only has two cores. Then for network address, you want to put not present. For NS offload, disabled. Receive buffers, you can set at 1024. Receive side scaling is enabled. Shutdown wake up, disabled. For speed and duplex, select the highest megabytes per second available and full duplex. For most, this will be 100 megabytes per second full duplex. For SWOI, you can disable that. For TCP checksum offload, you can disable that. For transmit buffers, set at 1024. For wake on magic packet, disable it. And wake on pattern match, disable that as well. If there's any settings on your screen that I haven't mentioned here, just leave them as they were. Once you've made these changes, you can click OK. Your internet may disconnect and reconnect to update to the new changes. The next thing we're going to do to reduce your ping is to change your DNS server. Your DNS or domain name system is an important part of your internet connection and upgrading to a better DNS server can make your connection faster, more secure, and even reduce your ping. We're going to use Cloudflare's DNS servers because they're the fastest publicly available DNS servers. To change your DNS server, you'll have to go back to the network and sharing center. On the left, click change adapter settings and open the adapter that you use and then click Properties. From the list of connections, select Internet Protocol version 4 TCP slash IPv4 and click the box that says use the following DNS server address and change your DNS servers to these. You want to set your preferred DNS server to 1.1.1.1 and your alternate DNS server to 1.0.0.1. .1. Now you can click OK and that'll change your DNS servers. Next, you want to clear the DNS resolver cache to speed up and optimize things for that DNS. To do this, you open command prompt, which you can do by pressing start and typing cmd. Once that's loaded up, you want to type ipconfig slash flush DNS and hit enter. Then you'll see successfully flushed the DNS resolver cache on your screen to let you know you've done it right. Now you can close command prompt and enjoy using your faster and more secure DNS servers. The next thing we're going to do to reduce your ping is download and run Malwarebytes ADW Cleaner. Malwarebytes ADW Cleaner is a free program that gets rid of adware on your computer and restores your performance. Now I know that you browse the internet safely and take good care of your computer, but there's still a chance that you could have some PUPs. PUPs are potentially unwanted programs and could include spyware and adware. PUPs can suck up some of the resources from your computer, namely your CPU and GPU, and negatively impact your network connection. You see, PUPs could be running in the background of your computer right now, and by removing them, you could get more FPS and lower your ping when you play Fortnite. I know people that have literally halved their ping 
just from using Malwarebytes ADW Cleaner, so do not skip this step. The program is free and easy to use. All you have to do is go to the Malwarebytes website and click the free download button. Link is in the description. Once you've downloaded it, you can open it and click the Scan Now button. Now it'll do its thing and scan for any unwanted programs on your computer. In my case, ADW Cleaner actually found two PUPs. I take good care of my computer, so I was surprised. Once the scan is finished, you want to select the items you want to quarantine and disable. Then click the quarantine button to move the items to quarantine so you can permanently delete them. Then your computer will restart and your computer will be fresh and free of PUPs. The next thing we're going to be doing is a quick check in your Fortnite settings to make sure you're connecting to the best matchmaking region in Fortnite. You see, it's possible you're playing in a suboptimal region and that's the reason for your high ping. For example, if you live in New York and you're connecting to the Oceana servers, then you're going to experience bad ping. Fortunately, it's really easy to change your matchmaking region in Fortnite. Here's what you need to do. Open the Fortnite menu by pressing the escape key on your keyboard or start button on your controller. From the drop down list, select settings, then click the cog icon to go to your game settings and choose the matchmaking region with the lowest ping for you. I've actually been connected to the wrong matchmaking region before and was experienced ping in the high hundreds. This doesn't make a good experience for playing Fortnite. So it's important that you do this step and make sure you're using the best matchmaking region for you. This is also why it's a good idea to have your settings to show your ping in Fortnite so you can see when there are any abnormalities that can be as a result of using the wrong matchmaking region. Another thing you want to do that can help to lower your ping is close any background programs and websites. Before you're playing Fortnite, you should close down any other programs that may be running in the background. These programs can use the memory of your computer so there are fewer resources for Fortnite and they can negatively impact your connection and increase your ping. You don't want to just close the programs on the device that you're using either, because any programs or services that are running on other devices that are connected to your network could affect you. Downloading or using streaming sites like Netflix and YouTube are particularly bandwidth heavy and can make your network performance and ping worse. If you're sharing your internet connection with others, you're going to want to negotiate with them so that no heavy downloads happen when you're gaming, so you can get the best network performance. The next thing you want to do, if you haven't already, is to just restart your network equipment. I can't tell you how many of my technology troubles have been solved by simply turning something off and back on again. So if your network equipment, i.e. your router and or modem, has been left running for a long time without being restarted, then it's possible that your equipment is not functioning properly. So try turning them off, waiting a few minutes, and then turning them back on, because this could help to improve your internet connection and lower your ping. Also, if you're using an old or out-of-date router and modem, then replacing them for a new and better equipment can help to improve your connection strength, speed, and lower your ping. Now if you've followed every step so far in this video, and you're still not happy with your ping, then it's time to contact your internet service provider or ISP and let them know about your connection problems because your ISP may have your solution, so it's worth the call. Also, it's worth running an internet speed test because if your speeds are lower than the advertised minimum, then your ISP is obliged to help you. And if this still hasn't solved your problem and lowered your ping to a level that you're happy with, then you may need to upgrade your internet. You see, High ping can actually be as a result of a poor internet connection. Games like Fortnite require a certain internet speed, and if it's not met, then you can experience all sorts of network problems. Many ISPs now offer internet deals specifically for gamers that have high speed and low latency requirements. So, to improve your performance, you could upgrade your internet package. And the final tip I have for you to reduce your ping is to relocate somewhere closer to the Fortnite servers, because the reason for your high ping could be as a result of your distance to the Fortnite servers. You see, it takes time for the data to travel, and that's why your ping is much higher in regions that are further away from you, like my experience on the Oceana servers. 
So if you were to move closer to a Fortnite server, then you would reduce your ping. Now this may sound extreme, but it's actually what a few competitive players did to have the best possible chance for qualifying in the Fortnite World Cup. For most people though, I understand that this isn't feasible. But if you're serious about being the best Fortnite player and want the lowest possible ping, then it is something you can consider. Now that you've gone through each of the steps and hopefully lowered your ping to an acceptable level, and if you haven't, then go back through this video and do each of the steps carefully and make sure you really did each one correctly. I thought it'd be fun to create some ping benchmarks for Fortnite. So the ideal ping is between 0 and 30 milliseconds. If you're a serious and competitive Fortnite player, you want your ping to be in this level. Here, your buildings and edits will be smooth as butter, and you'll be able to replace the walls of most players. Good ping is about 30 to 60 milliseconds. Here, building and editing will still feel good, but you could have some problems with particularly difficult edits or when going for wall replacements. Playable ping is between 60 and 100 milliseconds. Here, you could start to experience issues with your building and editing. Taking a player's wall will be very difficult, and your walls will be taken in most cases, and you may need to change your play style to compensate for your high ping. And bad ping is 100 or more milliseconds. If your ping is over 100 milliseconds, then you're at a serious disadvantage, and you'll struggle to do well competitively. Your walls will get replaced every time, and you could even take damage when people spray at you, even if you're holding down turbo build. Of course, these are just very general guidelines, and are meant to help you understand where you are in regards to your ping. My hope is that most of you that use a wired connection and have followed the steps in this video will be in the ideal or good section. In conclusion, if you want smoother gameplay and a competitive advantage when you play Fortnite, then getting your ping as low as possible is something you must do. By using a wired connection, optimizing your network adapter settings, setting a fast DNS server, and removing any potentially unwanted programs, I hope your ping is now at a level that you're happy with. Of course, lowering your ping isn't the only way to improve your gaming experience. Something else that causes latency is low frames per second, or FPS, and you can check out my guide to increasing your FPS in Fortnite on my website, that's kr4m.com, cram.com. When you increase your FPS in Fortnite, in tandem with lowering your ping, it has been proven to make you a better player. If you found this video helpful, and it's helped you to lower your ping in Fortnite, then please leave a like and consider subscribing to my channel because it really helps me grow. And leave a comment letting me know how this video has helped you improve your ping because I genuinely want to find out. Anyway, that's the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching and have an amazing day. Peace.